Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel after Christmas countdown which continues on until it's finished. I'm determined to keep the Christmas spirit going until this countdown is finished even if it's Lent. This is the first big product of 2021 and one I've been searching for weeks and I had to do another one of those Robert Mitchum Thunder Road deals in order to get my hands on this finally. Managing to smuggle a box of these over the county line over the objections of the Montgomery County Council which has apparently banned 3D Doritos. It's been a feast or famine situation with 3D Doritos literally and I'll explain that in a few minutes, but I finally got not just 3D Doritos, but as you know here on the Robert Dyer channel, we always go big, never accept anything less than total victory. And we won't have to today because I've got the world's biggest box of 3D Doritos. A gigantic box of 3D Doritos right off a truck. See it says taking crunch to another level. Got the new logo there. Trailer case label. You can see it's right off the truck. And it's got that nice modern most recent Doritos logo that I do like quite a bit. Very slick modern design with the chip incorporated into the logo and then you've got this big 3D crunch and this sort of a uh, digital explosion here kinda like you just blew up the recognizer in Space Paranoids the aspiring trucker in me is excited about this label on here trailer number, manifest. Let's see the manifest. It's kind of like when you're pulled over at the border at the uh, way station in Clarksburg when you try to come over the border into Montgomery County and the county council forces are waiting for you there and they say give us the manifest. Okay so I cut the tape now and we're both going to look together as I open the lid here for the first time holy smokers it's a veritable bounty a king's ransom of 3D Doritos good god sounds Get a look from the right direction this time. It's kind of backwards there, but there's going to be a feast tonight. I think I'm all set for the Super Bowl here. And now here we get a look at the actual bags for a better view. And we've got chili cheese nacho on the left and spicy ranch on the right and you've got the kind of orangish nacho color on the chili cheese nacho and then up here you've got some flames coming off of this one to indicate it's going to be spicy as well as down here I see the flames also and we've got a good April expiration date on these, so they'll be fresh for some time. Okay, so here we are with a super close-up of these out of the bag, so that you can examine for yourself the fine details of what these look like, both in their shape, their volume, texture, and you can see at least the... Uh, chili cheese nacho they've got plenty of coating on those and as a result you can get a better idea of the texture of those I think than you can of these 
something of a love child between Bugles and Poppables, but unfortunately we don't have the 1998 version here to put right next to it. Now if you remember these back in 1998, there were three flavors, nacho, cheese, cool ranch, and jalapeno, something or other. And so it appears they've added chili to nacho cheese and what I would hope is we're going to get something like another of my favorite chips of all time which is chili cheese Fritos. I mean that's one of the best chips ever and arguably the best Fritos you can get. And then it seems like they took the jalapeno and the Cool Ranch and they just smashed it all together and made spicy ranch. You know Bob some people have referred to me as Michael Jordan in long pants. So we're going to find out exactly what this is, but I've got to give two big shout outs. First of all, as I said, it was feast or famine with these. And coincidentally, I've gone from going for weeks searching for these 3D Doritos, unable to find them. And all of a sudden, not only did I score this gigantic box, but then I won a contest from Hands Off My Snacks on Instagram, which you should follow to find out about new snacks as they come out. And I got a huge prize box of snacks that included two big bags. Not these little bags, but two big bags of the two flavors and some other great surprises in there some of which were also products that I wanted to review for you and also cannot find around here and now I have those as well so in the coming weeks we will be reviewing those products so I thank you very much to hands off my snacks because what a prize box it was, enough to food for a month in there, I think. And secondly, I want to thank and welcome another celebrity follower to this channel, and that is Matt Cothran. You may know that name if you're in the indie music scene. He's had at least a couple of bands that have been successful albums out, and his latest adventure has been getting a Robert Dyer t-shirt and so thank you Matt for supporting the channel by buying the t-shirt. I, I actually saw he's wearing it in one of his uh, videos on somebody uploaded to YouTube. I think it was from his Periscope. But we, I've got that very small list of celebrities that subscribe to the Robert Dyer channel and so I'm always excited to add one more and also as a musician myself it's always exciting to have other musicians of note that are following this channel so thank you very much Matt and I can give you a shout out here even if you're not a celebrity if you pick up a shirt from the Robert Dyer store right down below the box where you're watching this video and tag me online with a photo of whatever you bought and I will give you a shout out here too. But now let's get to the important business of the aromas. These little bags and I will try to see Well, it does seem like the nacho is definitely throwing off the chili cheese Frito idea. And then we'll get the cool, well, as here I go saying cool ranch, spicy ranch. That's, this is a much less pungent aroma, which I don't know these are as well coated. It's always hard to see the coating on Cool Ranch Doritos so you never really know till you bite into it. Kind of like when Taco Bell made the shells out of them. But not much spice. 
It says spicy ranch, but I'm mainly smelling cool ranch. Get the ones out here that I put in the dish. And we're going back to 1998, which I remember, uh, I think my top movie that year was Mask of Zorro. And what was another big movie, Spice World. So, speaking of Spice World, let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, that was a surprise because I didn't know that these are spicy also. These got a bit of a zing. There's something going on there. And it was, I would say it's a, I didn't think I'd have to pull out the Robert Dyer heat scale this early in the video, but I would say it was about a 2 out of 10 on the Robert Dyer heat scale. And it's quite odd because Visually, these are like the love child of popples and bugles, but texture-wise, on my first impression, I can describe it as a love child of bugles and Triscuit crackers. In that first bite, I'm not really getting the chili cheese Frito experience. I'm getting quite a bit of nacho cheese Dorito flavor. So that, I'd say there's a good amount of flavoring on those, but they're, they are definitely not really delivering in the chili department. A lot more nacho cheese than chili. I think it seems like the chili is more chili powder with the spice element. So let's try the spicy ranch. And I just saw of another great movie from 1998, The Truman Show, which I hate to tell you is really a documentary more than a fictional film. Well, these do definitely have a hotter spice than the chili cheese nacho which was not supposed to have any spice from the packaging, but it had the fire on here in the graphic, and it does indeed have a hotter spice, but it only gets, to, I would say, about a four on the Robert Dyer heat scale, and that was without drinking anything, just letting it burn out to see how hot it would get. It lingers for quite a while, unlike the nacho, got a bit of a slow build to it as you're eating it where the nacho one is a little more immediate even though the spice is less this builds up and then it uh, gives you a afterburn so to speak but it kind of overwhelms the flavor more than I got a lot more flavor out of the nacho let's try one more time here to get an accurate impression I'm here at the Motel Zero in Springwood, Ohio. I ordered a delivery of beef wellington and a Welsh rarebit and received a beef burrito and cheesy fiesta potatoes from Taco Bell instead, completing my bargain meal in a paper sack. I turned on the Motel TV and found In the Kitchen with David was on QVC. I made the mistake of playing the drinking game where you take a shot of Jagermeister every time David Venable looks at himself in the studio monitor while taking a bite. I blacked out at some point between the Mrs. Prindables and the Omaha Steaks. Thirteen hours later, I regained consciousness in the useless stuff that looks cool on a desk aisle at Homaker Schlemmer. In the Golden Pines Mall, standing over me was a salesman wearing a Gaia Barra and munching on Melba toast. Amid a shower of crumbs, he said, Sir, I must ask you to leave. Suddenly, Phil Swift jumped out from behind the Knights Templar abacus display 
and fired a blast of flex seal directly in the Melba Muncher's face. I realized Phil Swift had drawn Michael Anthony facial hair on himself with a sharpie as he turned suddenly to face me with a look of sheer terror and shouted, There's been a breakout at every zoo east of the Mississippi. You better get the flex out of here. The chimpanzee invasion has begun. The chimpanzee invasion has begun. <laughs> well, this has been the... Uh, I would say there have been some surprises along the way in this review, but overall I think you're probably going to enjoy these if you get them. Both flavors are pretty good, I would say, if not a little bit different than what I got the impression of from the bags, from the flavor names. Uh, there's some unexpected heat with the nacho, but a little bit of a disappointment with the chili cheese part because I really like those chili cheese Fritos. I would say if you're looking for the most flavor to get the chili cheese nacho even if it doesn't have a lot of chili cheese and it's really more chili powder and if you want heat you're going to get a decent amount of it with these. They are pretty spicy not quite as spicy as a hot fry at that 4 out of 10 level. A hot fry is about 5. So I love the nostalgia for the 90's. I love bringing back any of the classic novelty Doritos products. I desperately wish they would bring back the cheeseburger, guacamole Doritos, and Pizza Hut Doritos, uh, those are my three favorites that are not getting a encore performance. Like a lot of times when you bring back the characters from an old film for a reboot or something, they're not quite the youthful uh, energy, they're not catching the lightning in the bottle like they did when you first enjoyed them. but. They're a decent facsimile of what they were back then, so I'm going to go ahead and give these four out of five stars. And I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time on this Christmas countdown. Bye, everybody.